Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Laurel and Science and practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part 1 using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Adobe, Bloomberg, Amazon and JSON Games interviews. Okay. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. And even if you do not have Litco premium subscription, do not worry. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can copy it and paste it in something like Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given a table called activity with four different columns, player ID, device ID, event date and games played. And the combined columns, player ID and event date is the primary key that is combination of these columns with unique values of this table. This table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, which can be possibly zero before logging out on some day using some device. We are asked to write a solution to find the first login date for each player. Order of the result does not matter. So just by looking at this example, right? So here we have activity table with certain inputs, right? So for player ID one, what is the first login date? So obviously the minimum value in this event date column for a particular ID is going to be the first login date, right? So for example, for player ID one, it is going to be 1st of March, 2016 for player ID two, there is only one login. So that is going to be in the output for player ID three. We have two and obviously the first login is going to be 2nd of March, 2016. So basically, and that's it going to be in the output, right? That is what we have. So basically what do we need to do here is we have to take this data frame activity. We can group by the player id and take the event date column and find the minimum value right and that minimum value is going to be the first login date you can also do it by using rank functions so like for you can partition by player ids and try to order by event date in ascending order and then assign ranks and keep only those rows where rank is equal to one I'm going to follow the pre first method because it is way simpler and way easier to understand. So what I'm saying is, let's say, uh, you know, let's store this in our data frame called DF. What we are doing is basically take the activity data frame and just group by, right? So group by the column player ID, right? Cl column player ID, and then take the event date column right event date column and find the minimum value right because that is going to be the first login date for that particular id and since we have grouped by player id so that it appears as a column because we need that as a column in our output we need to write dot reset index right and then let's return this data frame right let's return this data frame let me run this let's see what do we have here so even though it says wrong answer, but if we look at our output, right? So our output is exactly same as expected output. The only difference being the name of the column, right? And name of the column should be first login. So what we can go do, you can just go ahead and start renaming it. So rename, what do we want to rename columns? We want to change it from event date, right? Event date to the new name is first login, right? Okay, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases or not. So it is accepted and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, for every player ID, we grouped by the player ID and then took the event date column and found the minimum value because that is, you know, in line with what this question is asking first login date. And we reset the index so that player ID appears as a column in our output and we just rename the columns of event date to first login. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or like how the solution will look like if you are going to use the partition and ranking. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.